Gregory Orr. Yeah, what I'm, I'm going to read is uh, poems from last two books that I wrote and another one, new thing, Come Closer to the Mic. That's not the title of the first poem. <laughs> uh, few notions. The poems don't have any titles. They just, uh, so I'm j and I'm, I write short, so I'll just pause between them. Few notions that there is a thing called the book, uh, and what it is is this giant invisible anthology. This is my religion uh, that contains all the songs and poems that were ever written. Uh, they're there to sustain us. Their purpose is to praise the beloved and to resurrect the beloved. Uh, we live in this mystery of love and death and being a body in time. And uh, we also live inside the mystery of language and what it can do. So that's what these poems are about. They're about the beloved and uh, us as we move through love and death and resurrection and through poems and songs. And I'll just kind of pause between them. To be alive, not just the carcass, but the spark. That's crudely put, but if we're not supposed to dance, why all this music? To see the beloved, to be seen by the beloved, that's where being starts. Looking with the eyes, of course, but who could be filled with such gazing and not want more? Looking with words also. Look and then leap. Gaze and then speak. Mm. Voice of the beloved searching me out, seeking me, speaking me, mm. speaking herself first, speaking his own being in order to awaken mine. When the beloved has the blues, no cheering her up, no lifting him from the dumps. When the beloved is the blues, no keeping her down. No muffling his voice. It sounds out over the radio waves, a low moan and a high yell. Mm. She's the guitar sound like the train leaving town. Moan and yell, where is your baby bound? See to mem guard a toi, sings Carmen in Bizet's opera. If you love me, watch out. <laughs> Good advice. She's dangerous. Love is dangerous, as is the world. It isn't only loss. There's lots of weird malice loose on the planet. Mm. Of course, her song is in the book, not as a warning, but an invitation. Welcome, it says, but be alert. <laughs> this poem is dedicated to my shirt. That? Hoarding your joys and despairs as if they were clothes you bought but never wore. Look at this bright shirt, a possibility you glimpsed but feared to seize. The beloved is waiting. You have a date. 
put on that shirt before it fades. <laughs> Often the dance exhausts me. I'm desperate to sleep a bit. Bad idea, the beloved insists. There's a world out there you need to see to be. But I'm tired, I whine. Sorry, the beloved replies. You'll rest when you're done. Meanwhile, there's a word in here. She's pointing toward her heart. You need to become. That song on the jukebox, an emissary, the beloved sent. It's only doing its two-part job. First, it breaks our heart. Then it promises never to mend it again. <laughs> 